The world tempts the most self-righteous of souls. The beauty it presents deceives the most noble of hearts. The glimmer it shines attracts the most honest of eyes. The electrifying speed of cards captivates us. The reflection of the sunlight from the tall skyscrapers fascinates us. The expensive, well-constructed houses enchant us. The lifestyle of luxury entrances us. But think, ponder, reflect. Is this all irreversible, eternal and perpetual, or ephemeral, provisional and transitory? It is death which we fail to think about. It is death which we fail to ponder about. It is death which we fail to reflect on. Whereas death is the only certainty in life. Billions of people have come onto this earth and billions of people have left the earth. That which they earned passed on. That which they gained disappeared. That which they enjoined vanished. They themselves were buried and were forgotten. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Aynama takunu yudrikkum al-mawtu wa law kuntum fi burujim mushayyadah. Wherever you may be, death will overtake you, even if you should be within towers of lofty construction. How we live, that is how we will die. A life of righteousness will lead to a righteous death. A life of piety will lead to a pious death. A life of honor will lead to an honorable death. A life of Islam will lead to a death of Iman. For the one who does good actions in this world, his grave will become a garden from the gardens of paradise and will stretch as wide as the eyes can see. Let us reckon ourselves and our actions before we and our actions are reckoned for.